he was Shut given up. another chance to be with us. I also push myself because of my faith and the strength that God gives me every day. What are my words of wisdom to my teammates? Um, enjoy these moments because time goes by fast. And I used to think that people were being cheesy when they said that, but it's true. Because it felt like just yesterday, I was in seventh grade running with my older brother um, during the summer practices. And now I'm here. And we're gonna go, we're gonna do great at league finals tomorrow. So enjoy these moments, make the most of them, and be kind to each other. We're here to run, not cause drama, or not create a negative space. We come to cross country to get away from negativity in our lives. And we come here to relieve stress. Most importantly, we come here to win. So practice how you wanna race, and have no regrets especially tomorrow. Um, like I've said, I've been trying to push through pain, so I hope you guys can give it all if you have tomorrow. Please don't run in your comfort zone because success doesn't come from when you stay in your comfort zone. So run until it hurts because that pain is temporary and after we finish tomorrow, you'll feel so proud of what we did this whole season. Um, my additional messages, I wanna say thank you to um, this amazing team and all the friends I've made. Thank you, Lisette, for taking pictures at all the races. <coughs> Janaya for taking times and Gio for being our medic, especially when I passed out at the Fastback Invitational. To my varsity girls, I'm so proud of you and all the improvement we've made this year. Thank you for letting me be your captain. Varsity boys, I'm really proud of what you've accomplished this year because our boys team hasn't been where you guys have been in a while. Thank you to my bus buddy, Adi. I really love our entertaining conversations, making TikToks with you, sleeping on the bus, and arguing whether the Padres are better than the Dodgers, which they are. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby, for becoming my friend this year. I'm proud of how fast you've gotten. And to my captains, although Aiden isn't here, I'm really proud of how he's kept at it, and he's. Um, been getting better, especially since she's been injured for a long time. To Evelyn, who I hope she can be here tomorrow. I'll honestly miss her. <gasps> she's right there. Yeah. <laughs> I will honestly miss you so much, Evelyn. I love how supportive and sweet you are, and how we can share the same positive energy when we're all going through hell. I can't wait to see the really good captain you'll be next year. Jacob. I'll honestly miss you a lot, surprisingly. <laughs> um, I really enjoy the time we have in Winter's Room during lunch. And I'm so proud of you and how you've been leading the boys team this year. I'm glad I made the decision to put in a good word for you as the boys captain. And the boys team is really lucky to have you. And Zipporah, thank you so much for being captain with me this year. When I couldn't be stern with the team, you would help me keep them in check and I'm so thankful for sharing this new experience with you. Thank you for leading us and congratulations on this amazing season. Thank you to my family who've supported me these past four years and for hosting these past two nights every year. I couldn't have done it without you guys. I know I put my parents through a lot and I'm just so thankful for all the car rides, the late nights waiting for me to get back home the hugs after races, your advice, and concern over my health. And lastly, thank you to my coaches. Although Miss Santiago joined us um, just last year, you made a perfect addition to the team, and I loved having you as my coach. I remember when I had finished Woodbridge, um, I was crying because I was frustrated with my time, and I was just really emotional, and my mom wasn't there to hug me. But you came up to me and you hugged me after my race. And I was just so thankful. My favorite memory was you with you was when we watched Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide at Bear Camp. Um, Bear Camp was honestly, sorry, Winter, not fun. So, <laughs> sorry, Coach Winter. It wasn't fun. So just being able to watch TV with her felt normal and um, comforting. I'm glad I got to know you better. Coach Rick. 
throughout the years, I've enjoyed how much you care about us and all the times you cut the workout short when Winter wasn't there. <laughs> your charming manner has made me respect you even more every year, and I'll miss your words of encouragement. Coach Hernandez, I'm so thankful that you've joined the team this year and have pushed us to run by joining in on the workouts. I'm so appreciative of your attentiveness when we don't feel good your funny conversations, and the supply of snacks in your classroom. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with the team, and I'll always remember the great driving advice you gave me at camp. If there's no cop, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've been putting it into use. And last, uh, not on tape. <laughs> last week, Coach Winter, I know I thought I was going to make you cry, but I already reached to it. Um, I've known you even before I joined the team, and I'm very thankful you've given me the opportunity to be captain this year. I know I'm not the easiest person to coach, but I'm thankful for your support and advice during cross country and in the classroom. You've honestly become like another parent for me, who has seen me grow every day these past four years, and whose advice I'll take with me as I move forward in life. Most of my favorite memories with you all include you cheating, <laughs> because that's the only way you win. <laughs> and you're also really persistent in trying to get me to do ice baths. <laughs> and I'm proud I can say that I have never had to do a milk mile in my four years of being here. But thank you for welcoming, <laughs> for welcoming my family and I into the team long ago, starting with my brothers. And thank you for making my last year memorable. I hope I made you, all the coaches, and the team proud, and I'll raise my heart out to them. How many years have you been on the team? I've been on the team for four years, and I've been in varsity for four years. Um, oh, y también tengo que darle gracias a mis abuelitos. Gracias por para hacerme comida todos los días para recogerme. Para venir a mis carreras. Gracias para mantener tu salud para que me pueden ver crecer cada año. Okay, my plans after high school. Um, after high school, I plan on going to college. If God permits, I want to go to UC San Diego. Hopefully, Cal State San Diego or UCR. And I plan on majoring in English and, and journalism. I want to be an English teacher, but if I have enough courage to really do what I want, then I want to be a journalist and help my dad's business grow. And lastly, um, I'll continue to run in order to stay in shape as I eat ramen every day in college, <laughs> and, but not professional or competitively. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cry. Uh, yes, you are. Giselle, it's. Uh, 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 I want every word uh, that comes out of my mouth to be about you and no one else. And I want you to know that your heart and passion for being a good student, a good, good drummer, and a good runner is all through you. You thanked all the people who supported you. But they only were doing that because they knew you could do it, and they knew you wanted to do it, and they were just giving you that extra boost. No one made you do it. You did it because you wanted to do it, and I'm grateful that you did, because all the moments that you gave us these four years, your four years at varsity, your PR as a freshman with Anna, what you're going to do tomorrow, I'm just, I'm just amazed. Every year, you're a great kid, and like you said, it feels like I'm a pseudo-parent, You've been like a pseudo child for me. I know that I've enjoyed communicating with your parents and like <laughs> saying, hey, I can't get her to eat at bear camp. Uh, I, she's telling me she's eating this. Is this right? Like I, I feel like I'm snitching on you, but I'm trying to make you the best that you can be because I know you want to be the best you can be. So thank you very much for your four years. I really appreciate you. Thank you. I know you've heard me say this before. Um, I think it was my first year there, and Caesar was a senior, 
and it was during the summer. There was this little guy that was out there running around, and then this even smaller girl that was out running around, and I was asking Winter, who are these people? He said, oh, that's Caesar's little sister, and that's Caesar's little brother, and they're gonna come and run with this. And, okay, cool. Um, but it's been nice watching you grow up over the last few years. Um, I haven't said it yet tonight, but uh, every, uh, every year I'm amazed by how hard you guys work. Um, those of you who are able to uh, do well in school, take AP classes, be scholars, participate in band and athletics, or two sports, and you guys push me to try to work better so that I could be better. And uh, if you guys have the strength and the energy to do everything that you guys are doing, then I should be able to do the same. And uh, I appreciate everything that, uh, that you've done to allow me to look up to you as a role model so that I can work harder. Um, I don't know how you, how you do it all. Um, I, I'm glad we got you first before you got to run to band tomorrow, but I know you're gonna have to cut out so you can get back because uh, I know you have responsibilities here and responsibilities there, and I know that's all part of being a Hinojosa. You're doing all of that. So um, I'm, uh, it's, it's been wonderful the last four years, or six years, however you want to look at it. And uh, can't wait till tomorrow to see how you guys do. So yeah, Giselle, I know I didn't get to watch you grow as much as them, but I'm glad I got to be here for the finish. And yeah, um, like to pour another one where they talk about the responsibilities you guys are burdened with. And not so much a burden, but the stuff you guys choose to do, go above and beyond it to take more difficult classes. I'm leaving campus at like seven o'clock. 7.30 sometimes, and I think I'm late, and I see you guys practicing out in the parking lot. And I always wonder, where do you guys find time to do all the other extra stuff that, you know, other people probably are out sleeping, taking naps, doing whatever, but you guys just never, you never stop working. And I know, um, I know your parents are very proud of you and everything you've done and everything you've accomplished. Um, yeah, another one, I thank you for not stressing my life anymore than some of the other kids have. Made. You've made my life a lot easier, Giselle. And, um, yeah, when you talk about having a backup plan, like sometimes I wonder why you guys have backup plans because you're gonna be very successful. You're gonna be fine. You're like, it's like I don't doubt that whether you're doing journalism, I know you're gonna, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna do great. Um, someone like me, I should have backup plans because I, I, I don't do things right. You know, like so. Yeah, Giselle, I, I know life after high school is gonna be great, and I don't know if we have. Uh, another speech after this, but to everyone here, it's, it truly has been a blessing to have been your guys' coach this year. For the seniors, thank you guys for giving me a wonderful year. Um, yeah, I know it's thank you, coach, for allowing me to come, even though I asked him just to run with you guys. Like, coaching, that was the last thing on my mind. I, I don't know why, I just wanted to run with you guys just so I could be in shape, but now it's I've taken a different role, and I, I'm very glad it. And I thank God every day for this, and it truly has been a blessing to be here with you guys. So, thank you. Oh, I was like, Where's Giselle? Uh, you did make me cry, so. Um, and I know this isn't about me, but when I joined cross country last year, um, I was a little stressed out about things and I really didn't know if I wanted to do cross country, but I joined and I missed summer and I joined, I came on the first race and I didn't know any of you and I didn't know what it really meant to be a coach and I was nervous about that and I kind of, I saw immediately how close this group is and how you're like a family and I kind of felt like they don't know me and I'm their coach and am I supposed to tell them to run? faster? Are they going to be mad at me for doing that? And I just didn't really feel that secure. I didn't, I didn't know if he wanted me on the team. And then Giselle came up to me later and she just made a comment like, we're really happy to have you. And it's something so like, so little, but it made me really happy. 
to be on this team. It was something so little, Giselle, and it meant so much to me. And I thank you for that. And I love this team and just being a part of this team. And I thank you for always making me feel like you want me here on this team. Um, and you are such a wonderful person. And like they said, I'm not gonna repeat, but you, you're always doing something. You've been a great captain this year and I just thank you so much for that. And we're just so lucky to have you on our team. Thank you. I know that uh, I wanted to have some captains come up and say something, but I'd rather just uh, say to you guys that well, I'm really looking forward for tomorrow. I'm looking forward to league finals. And I'm looking forward to us finishing off this season really strong. This was a really positive season. And in years past, uh, we haven't had this little of high morale going into league finals. And uh, it's because of your guys' positive mindset. You've worked hard to get here. And we've been celebrating the last couple of practices we've been together. We haven't been uh, straining ourselves and putting ourselves in a position where we're going to be sore for tomorrow. So tomorrow is a big day. We want to run really well. We want to make sure that we finish the strong season and go on to CIF from there. So thank you very much for you guys' hard work. Make sure that you guys think that in Yosas and that you give them all the love and appreciation that they deserve because for four years of Giselle and for three years of Caesar, so now it's been seven years, or one from uh, Ivan. Ivan, so if you count, well, we'll just, yeah. we'll, that's a whole year to himself. Uh, so uh, this is a legacy of their family caring for and supporting our team. So please, if you can't tonight, just don't thank them. Please go up to them and personally thank them today because this is the last time that we're gonna be here as a family and it, it's, it means a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. But, uh, if, if you, pasta nights is one thing, but a mountain camp, that was made possible because of the Inuosas. Uh, the Easy Ups, that was made possible because of the Inuosas. You've just given so much to us, and the support throughout the, throughout the years has not just been for your daughter or your sons. It's been to every single one of these kids. So thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, so let's get... Uh